Do we have a huntress? Hi. Do we have a witch? E. Do we have a surprisingly cheerful cat? Yes. And do we have a coffee-induced doggo? Coffee. Excellent. Well, that's all I need for a roll call done for today, so now I can guarantee everyone's here. J-Mac, what happened last time? Good question. Uh, we managed to make it back to a manor without being having any further assassinations put on us, which is nice. Uh, unfortunately, we do have our trio score of injured people. We had Amaya, who was thankfully not that worse off with her face scar. We had Reese with broken ribs and Amon with broken legs. Those two have largely been out of commission, but the rest of us have kind of parted about and did our own thing while we were supposed to technically be resting as uh, Sippo went, hey, try to do less crazy shit, please. Uh, spoiler, we're about to do more crazy shit. But for the most, what did everyone do for downtime action last time? I've already forgotten. Things was not necessarily important. Yeah, we, a lot of people did research. Yeah, we did a lot of research to work out, you know, the next step of the aging curse thing. And I visited the uh, Fate Queen. Fate, uh, oh yeah. Like... I got some bandits. I visited the dwarfs and got us a watchtower built. Hopefully we should be safer. And the progress update on how uh, the injured set are doing. Amaya still has a scar. Because that's not going away. Amon, I mean, he's not in the best shape, but he's walking around the building on crutches, so... Reese has, unfortunately, failed two of his free checks he got to make. So he's still out of commission. Poor, poor Reese. How dare did I not give Reese more con? I just had an idea. None of my characters have enough con except for Wolf. Wolf is overcompensating for my other character's lack of con. Over con. <laughs> Insane. Lack of con. But with that, though, the group has had some time to relax. Rest. Tender, one of your actions has already been set on fire, of course. Yes. Yes, of course. If anyone would like to go over anything, though, feel free to uh, suggest downtime actions now while the while the wolf is still getting coffinated. Uh, I'll just quickly say, as mentioned, I went and visited uh, Calton. Yeah, he's a bit more ooey than he was before, but I don't know if that's just because, uh, as a uh, as the founder, his memories are sort of fading somewhat. She also discovered through the, uh, the process of attempting faith healing on him to suppress the curse. Uh, it, the whatever effect it is, it's a ritual. The issue is it becomes permanent after a while if the target who has it hasn't got a, a break enchantment or sense of time spell cast on in time. Or died. Or died. Alright, yeah, we talked about that. Basically there's nothing we can do to stop him from losing his memory at this point. Well, it was a case of Except the baby teaching. Yeah, himself. the best chance he has of keeping the memories is to use the skills, so basically training him in being a magus and stuff like that. Yeah, which Amaya did. Got him up to first level. No, Amaya has a choice to do. Well, yeah, that's going to be my action. I was paid for it. I don't really have anything better to do, necessarily. I'm sorry, now we're we taking two or one at a time action? Can I to the group? I think just one. Uh, oh, I, think, I think we should take two, because Reese still has a you know, broken ribs. Well, we can take for one yeah. and see how Reese is doing and then take two if he needs it. But I have a plan. Oh dear. Plus, Remember? I would like... There There was one thing I wanted to do, which I'm pretty certain is going to take an action, is um get that mithril plan sorted out with the silver stars. I don't want that just sitting there. I, I in fairness, preemptively rolled for Reese for two actions, I realized, so... So yeah, two actions. Yeah, we'll go with two. All right. Um, do you mind if I go first? Done. Please cool. do. All right. Um, my first action, uh, as J Mac knows, I will be spent a week in mourning. Um, Cadney will spend a lot of time with a tree, thinking over what's going on, just sort of sitting there for. A long time in meditation and contemplation and helping a tree that she planted on top of Nana Sensei's body grow. Which it grows ridiculously quickly. Um, uh, Turns and, out Nana Sensei's good fertilizer. And Cadmi's also kind of manipulating the tree. Yeah. yeah. But she sits out there um, 
not much happens. Her wings unfurl and become sort of like this carpet of ivy around her. And she just sort of sits there for a long time. She does talk to other people who come up to her, but otherwise she remains. And once that week is done, she sits up and stands up. And after that week of meditation and contemplation, she, she will go visit the Silver Star family. And she wants to go talk to Reiji. Well, ideally both of them, but... Mm-hmm. She wants to go talk to the Silver Star family. Okay. So Reiji isn't staying with the Silver Stars. Oh. Yeah, he was at like a Crap, safe I got the wrong, wrong, wrong last name. Wrong last name. Um, Reiji and uh, Drake. Fire Mom. Dra- okay. Lady Draco. Drake. <laughs> Fire oh, Mom. Names. You will go. You will go to visit the Royals, which you can certainly do. I'm currently held. Currently in a modest no, uh, noble villa uh, with more guards around it than you can count. Though in Fairness Academy, that's not many. Mm-hmm. More than three. More than three. Got it. She'll just calmly walk in. Um, she'll ask where they are. And she'll like quietly approach them. Uh, how does it look like they're doing when Academy finds them? Well, initially, you end up seeing um, her Lady Draco first. Ah, um, hey, it is good to see you have uh, kind of settled down. Yes, settled down. Well, I mean... Uh, Thank you again for everything. It's... I only wish I could have done more. It's, um... It brings me a lot of pain to see this happen to someone else's family. Now, well, what is it you're doing here? You didn't come for a chit chat. I mean, I kind of did. Um, I don't want to. Uh, I know that many of the dramatic parts of this story have ended. Um, but as much as fate has thrown me into the role of a fighter, I really don't like it. And so I want to follow up and see how you all are doing. It's not in my nature to be, you know, a combatant. It's to be a helper and healer. Uh, someone who helps be, uh, hurting heart. So, I just wanted to make sure you all were okay. And help where I can. I am doing just fine. At the moment. Sense motive. <laughs> and I am, I'm also going to just hit her without aura sight. Where's the sense motive then? Sense motive, and then the aura sight. Can we bounce? Everything is alright, though you can't... She's very good at hiding whatever she is actually thinking. Weirdly, you can't see any aura from her. Like, she's gone out of her way to hide her aura. Hmm. I don't mean you're making adequate precautions for divinity magics, but... I'm, I kind of have to. I'm being... There's a chance we may be hunted again. Yeah, that's true. He made a threat on my family, too. In anger, he's going to attempt to lash back at me. So it is something I need to keep my eye on as well. Then do that. I, I will. Go and bring the fight to him. <laughs> that is the... Well, that's um, a bit more of a complicated story. <sighs> I... How is Reiji doing? She pauses for a moment. Reiji is trying to work through everything at the moment, coming out of his catatonia just to figure out everything that happened. It's yeah. not been easy. If you want, uh, if you'd be willing to accept it, can I give a little bit of advice? I'll at least listen to what you have to say. That's all I can ask. Um, uh, this cult, the Cult of the Worm, a hunter. He deals in secrets. And we have no way of beating him at his own game. Um, the only way we can hold some form of unity together is uh, being truthful and making sure his lies and deceit don't matter. Um, once he's feeling better, which I do plan on going to talk to him uh, there and then talking with you, 
perhaps you want to give him a bit of guidance. I know that your personal talents are a little bit, um, uh, what is the term, taboo in your culture, but perhaps it would be a good form of uh, spending time providing guidance and a point of direction during these troubling times for both of you. Noted. <laughs> she sighs a bit. Is there anything else? I think I'm simply seeking the permission of um, the AG's mother to go provide counsel with him. I, after all, I'm the, the spiritual leader, and hopefully I can help him through some difficult things. I don't know if that's the best at the moment. Cadmium will flick her ear and attempt to hear if there's like a tantrum going on in the other room. Well, you don't hear a tantrum, though you do hear the sound of wood being broken. I... Emotional, emotional, emotional intensity, intensity is a good point to start. He's rushed quickly into anger, and the, sp and the sparring room is taking a beating as a result. <laughs> Though, I suppose he is practicing what Nana Sensei gave him. Yeah. I, I think I'll still go say hello. Is that okay? I say it may not be the best option. Well, if he likes punching wood things, I mean, can't, I can't be the worst candidate. It's probably best right now if he's not attacking people. Ah, uh, that's fine. Cadme's not people. <laughs> well, according to several magical spells, she isn't. It's true. I will listen to your advice. That is all I can do. Cadme oh. says that she makes some motion to go past her. I will listen to your advice and completely ignore it. That's not a sensation. Oh, that was so like, <laughs> too soon, too soon. It's just, it's just kind of sta it's just kind of staring at you right like, now. Like, do you really think I'm going to fall for it? You're just walking past. What? Okay, fine. Well, I mean, me and my friends are going to go on a bit of a journey. We need to. Before we attempt to fight the cult again, we need to get resources. Every time we've fought them, we've been on the back foot, so we need to have something at our disposal for next time. At least that's, that's, what, they that's what they say. That much is true enough. The group certainly does need a bit more to help them. Please, take this back to the rest of your uh, group, though. Oh? Consider this a thank you from us. It's 20,000 platinum! As she, as she hands you a small jewelry box. It's a nice box. Hey, Asusa, there could be a quiche inside the box. I said, well, you well, bring, well. I said you can bring it back to the others. I mean, it's a noble okay. family. Who knows how they store their quiches? In nice wooden boxes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, the quiche gets stored in the silver boxes. Oh, of course. I'm sorry. <sighs> well, if you are wondering, on the road to our keep, um, Nana's tree is planted. If she, I mean, she ever asked. that'll be good. That'll probably be good for him at some point. Yeah. I wish you the best of luck. I, sorry, I can't do much for you. Um, You've done a lot. <laughs> it doesn't feel like it. Just as it stands at the moment, I don't want anything that he associates with what happened to be put in his face. That's fair. Uh, the crown is gone, too. It's very far away. And I'm fine with Okay. Let me know if you need anything. I'll check back in when they return. Okay, we can take her leave. I'll mark mm -hmm. down that you visited. Inside the little jewellery box, by the way. Oh, I thought it was just a nice box. No, there's something in the box. Camille okay. probably realises <laughs> when she's walking home and she hears a jingle from the inside of the box. <laughs> I mean, jewelry box says that there'll be something in the jewelry box. Well, she doesn't know what a jewelry box is. It's a box. You, you do have to nice remember box. this is Cadme you're talking yeah, about. I mean, okay, I'm Cadme knows what a box is, however. Oh no, it's a very nice box. I thought she just gave me a box, though. I didn't know there was going to be contents within the box. <laughs> when you bring it back to the others, it says it's a silver and ruby diadem. No, that's shiny. Is it magical? 
Yes. If, if, when examined by anyone with detect magic or by Academy using aura powers on it, your pick. I pick it up. I mean, it's it's magical. Yes. You will just you will discover that this is a this is a diadem of alluring charisma plus two. Dibs. What? <laughs> <laughs> So seriously, if someone else has more use for it, they can do. I don't actually use my charisma for much. Oh, okay. I'll put it on. You do actually use charisma <laughs> for something. I mean, my charisma is basically just my key pool at this point. Yeah, some things. And, like, charisma-based skills. It's it... not like me or Adeline have any use for it. Yeah, true. I don't know if, um... Shiva would, but she's already got some weird headgear, doesn't she? She has a headband of something. Yeah. Pretty sure. I don't know. So maybe Reese can use it. He is, you know, like a bard cavalier kind of yeah, deal. Yeah, that, that's true. Yeah, no, Reese would probably be our best bet. Yeah, um, Reese yeah. currently. If so we, Reese, someone it wants be... it, we'll just give it to her. Let's see, what would that do for Reese? Let me check. More channels. Of Reese, that, for Reese, that will be one extra channel per day, plus one DC to channels, plus one to spell, spell DC, plus one third level spell per day, and plus one round of Bardic performance. That yeah. sounds worth it. It's so like for me, yeah. for me, technically, it would give me an extra key point, I believe, and increase the DC of my throat punch a bit, which I very rarely use. I mean, throat punch is pretty good. It is pretty good, but <laughs> I very rarely use it. Oh, hello, guys. Um, I got pretty thing. Kebby points at her head. Wait, what would it do for my Magus class? Because that was charisma based as well. Have me, um, have me. Also, because cowards with a TR. Hell yeah. You totally pulled that again. off. No, she gave it to me. Mm, likely story. Who gave it to you? Oh, um, the Lady Draca. May I see it? Oh, yeah, sure. It's very, very magic y. Oh, I thought so. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's magic that draws the eye and brings attention to you. Hmm. It also makes you a little bit more confident. Ah, uh, that's what this is. Okay, hey, yeah. Adeline, you want to take it for a little bit? Maybe we go out in town. I mean, maybe. Get me takes it off. I'll try it out. Uh, Adeline. No. Adeline, it really, it really, it, you know, it really matches quite well with Adeline's hair. Ah, this looks great, but... Sort of oh, like this yellowy, yellowy platinum yellowy. hair? And this is a yellowy platinum... Also, oh, Adeline. Mm -hmm. You weirdly feel like there's something else that you've just, uh, that just seeped into your head. Eh? Okay. You feel like you had to speak draconic. Ooh. Adeline will just, like, make dragony noises, basically. Okay. <laughs> she always makes dragony noises know. back. <laughs> don't know what you're saying now, but I feel like I used to know that. Probably. With it on? Yeah. Give me here. Kevin okay, jumps up with the wings and takes it off her head and puts it back on. Okay. Ooh. Well, that's a very weird language. Very sharp. Takes it off and puts it back on Adeline's head. Well, it is the oldest known language this world, so... Is it? I don't, hmm. I don't know, like Celestia or something. Celestial isn't Mandals. from. Those aren't from this world. I, uh, I guess that's true. Yeah. Oh. Sure. I, I, I'd have to take this out, and yeah, we can go. Come just around town, get me if you want. Okay. So I get. Okay. I, I guess they're having some fun with it, but we're going to give it to Reese later. <laughs> And I was going to go back to her tea. It does, it does look pretty fabulous on uh, Leo's head, actually, looking at going my color scheme. Simply <laughs> fabulous. Sorcerers are redheads, confirmed. I mean, he literally is a redhead, and he's a sorcerer. Yes. This was um, Lady Drake, I believe, wasn't she? Or is she yes. redhead? Uh, no, she's... Uh, okay. Very red hair. I mean, that means Auburn, so... I mean, we're going with other red hairs. Shoot the yep. sorcerer. Never know. Yeah. She's more likely bard than sorcerer. Oh yeah, yeah, she would she would get a lot of use out of it, so. The point is, so it's something the group has now. So it can be lost to the annuals of time again. Exactly. As is our way. Exactly. Or in the end, worst case scenario, it's a magic item that can be sold, so 
It's a thing. But no, but this is it's going to be good for Reese, so. Like, very good, especially considering what we're going to be going into. Sure, channels will be a very good thing if we have to fight ghosts. Mm -hmm. If he's alive enough to do so. We can work on that. But that's Cadme's actions. Did I, did I spend my actions? Do not. Okay. Not from not from this part yet. Okay. Uh, I mean, you can think on that. Yeah, J-Mac? Yeah, like I was saying, I did help save uh, a witch renowned for her healing. Perhaps it might be an idea to take Reese to her and see if, what we can, if she can do anything about his legs. I think it would be easier to take her to Reese. Uh, true. Reese is ribs, in this case, not legs. Yeah, I keep mixing them up. They're both bones. Both bones. I'm, just, I'm just saying your apprentice is going to come over and do, do some crotch food on you at this rate. He can try. What a joke to you! Free. Yes. I'm, I'm he can sneak attack with his crotch. He can't deliver. He can't deliver touch spells unless he attaches his dagger to the end of it. But that's fine. That sounds like a rogue thing to do. And he's part rogue, part witch, so it'd be fitting. Behold the knife crutch. Yeah, assuming Reese is willing, or I guess, uh, oh, yeah, I guess if I can, I'll ask Meredith to come here slash transport her here if she can. I mean, you can transport her here. Uh, you can call in a favor essentially with an action. Please. And we can allow her to give Reese an extra check at trying to uh, fix his body. <laughs> she's a, she's a healing. Ow. Go, go, gadget con check. <sighs> wow, Reese. I mean, it's better than one of his previous roles. <laughs> that's not. Uh, that doesn't. That's not inspiring confidence. He did manage to roll that one on one of his roles so far. Uh, we should have asked to steal the com belt from Team B. <laughs> Might have helped a little. I'll still mark that on. Mark that down. But. Yeah, Reese is still bedridden at the moment. Damn. Helped a bit. Oh, I tried. Unfortunately, unfortunately, no one you know knows regenerates, though. Give me six levels and I can do it. <laughs> but unfortunately, regenerates kind of what you need for broken bones to be fixed with magic. Yeah, magic can't penetrate that deep tissue. You need really strong magic to penetrate that deep. So why we cut the tissue open. Yeah, but then you then you expose infection. You need another spell killer of that. It's only for a level. Yeah, once again, that has to go deep. Has to be deeply applied. It's catch twenty two. <sighs> That's two. We've got another action she wants to spend. Or is it going to be more trying to heal? I mean, didn't we only have one? No, it looks like oh, it oh. You get another action to spend, however you want. Be it scheme, more trying to be medic, or something else. I don't know. We've already used Nier's thing. I might just do money. money. We use that? God damn it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I guess I'm just going to scheme. Last... The, thing, the thing is, you haven't gone on a mission. You haven't gone on a mission since, and it's not reset yet. Ah, oh, right. Okay. Fuck it. I'm going to try and make money because I have a very good alchemy, so it means I at least have a chance of making around 100 gold. Uh, da, da, da. Equipment. But what's the this? Doing that. Unless he rolls on that one or that 20 here. Alright, <laughs> I can dream. Let's see. Da, da, whoop. Damn. Only a 12. Jeez. Who's next uh, up? Uh, well, I guess I can. So, basically, I'm going to take what we we did out of Session Dark as at least one of my actions. Cause that, that was one of your actions. Yeah, that, that essentially took two weeks. So, yeah, Cal is basically disappeared after the first couple of days of downtime um, and didn't come back until probably two, maybe three days before downtime ended. Um, but when, when she did come back, she had some someone else with her. Um, human male... Oh my god, where did I put his description? Uh, I remember he was bald with scars over his face. Um, Middle-aged, as in the the middle-aged age category, somewhere in there. Um, and essentially she'll introduce him as Samuel, who was a very old and dear... Yeah, no, he's not our cat, J-Mac. Um, no, she, she'll um, introduce him as Samuel, who was a very old and dear friend of hers. Um, and basically he's going to be staying in or around the keep, probably in the tavern for essentially as 
far as she cares, as long as he likes until he gets his feet back under him. Um, Amaya, she's already explained your situation to him, so you don't need to go ranting on at her about bringing people into the key hunt when they don't know about your thing. She was very specific to make sure he was okay with that before bringing him back. Alright. She's learning. Um, he's not going to be working here. He's got his own plans. He's just staying for a while. And essentially she'll leave it at that unless people have questions. Um, for her second action, I've, I have no idea. It was probably just scheming. Because... I can't justify her having enough time for basically anything else. So probably just probably scheming. Just... I mean, that's fair. It's like, oh shit, I know what I'm doing after this. I know what I'm doing after this. I know what I'm doing after this. Yeah, it's like, I've got two days. I can't really work a job long enough for that. I can't oversee her construction. I mean, you could have been, you could have been doing... I mean, you could have been doing work while you're at the Dwarven place. Except I wasn't. I It was... Like, celebrations were there. I was not doing work when, there. When is there a couple of days we skipped over? It's possible you could have done some work. Yeah, no. No, she didn't. Fair enough. I was going to do the mischief, but it turns out Asus has already done that. So, yeah, just scheming, yeah. I guess. Some Maya. And it got a bit of jewellery for Cadme, which I've already given to her. Now, Torrin. Mm-hmm. So we've acknowledged one of your actions is going to be to train Calden, correct? Yes. Basically, make sure he doesn't lose this level when his as his memories are being eaten away at him. Yep. yep. And admittedly, despite you know everything, he's still he's still not bad. He's not that bad, despite everything. At this whole you know being a fighter kind of situation, well, mega situation. Not good. Um, we can skip the basics and go right to advanced. He doesn't doesn't necessarily have any of the equipment that he's he does that he used to, including his spell book, but you know, just fetching some random spare equipment from around the base. Yeah, he can borrow my spell book for the time being while I'm training him. Yeah. And the training goes remarkably well. He's able to block he's able to block some of your spells with his shield. Able to get able to defend against some of your attacks. Maybe once or twice actually manages to scrape uh my Essentially, when he nat twentyed. Look, the big look. His big problem right now is the fact that his strength has gone from being that of a fighter down to being actually about ten. Which, admittedly, it's remarkable given his given how small he is now. Tyler is toothless. That's true. His wisdom is certainly not doing the best anymore. That's kind of plummeted. Yeah, you know, he's kind of gone very naive, kid. So, but you know what can you do? But your training does go. Decently well with him. Minimal things are even broken. It's perfect. Cool. Does anyone know what she can do with the rest of her time? Yep. I'm going to go visit the Silver Stars. Because I need to talk to them about some shiny rocks we found. Arrive at the Silver Star Estate. It's awfully busy today. A I... lot of people moving around. I also need to tell them that we uh, lost the lieutenant they gave us. Well, she survived. She survived. She's alive. Yeah, uh, she was fine. We uh, we lost the uh, uh, the cleric. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I thought we. I thought we lost. Oh, okay. No, the lieutenant no, survived. She, she was wounded, but she survived. Oh, yeah. Good. She didn't exactly take any damage from the from the evil companion murderer. But you can show up. It's oddly busy today, but you can schedule a meeting uh, with Lady Sophia if you would like to. Mm-hmm. And when Amaya arrives, she will be carrying a box of stuff, mostly rocks and moss. And she'll arrive in with Lady Sophia sitting uh, elegantly across across her couch with a, a rather middle uh, like a middle aged gentleman sitting beside her that she was talking with before you let in. Mm. Seemingly dressed in some kind of servant's uniform. Don't recognize him though. New hire. He kind of looks over and uh, kind of defers to Lady Sophia. He's going. Yes, in a sense, he he is currently the one heading my accounts at the moment. Hmm. I will offer to shake his hand and introduce herself. 
he'll return the handshake and introduce and introduce himself to you, though rather quietly, um, as Boris. Boris. Lady Sophia kind of looks over. Uh, as unfortunate as it is, I was never the best head for business, to be honest. Well, I was always more of an artist and diplomat than I was a, a businesswoman. Speaking of business, it's actually kind of fortunate that both you and Boris are here. We found something interesting in one of your minds. Mithril. Kind of, just kind of looks to you. Mithril? Yes. Um, underneath... Maya will start just, like, explaining which mine it is, the, uh, volcanic rock cap that would have to be bore through the water flooding that would have to be dealt with, but there is a, a guarantee. Fish. Eh, it's a fish. Who cares? Everyone who ever got eaten by He's a He's a big fish. friendly fish! The... whatever. And, uh... But she will explain that the group can guarantee some amount of mithril in there, as determined through both um, mundane means such as marker mosses, a sample of the mineral itself, and also through a practice of divination magic. I understand this is an expensive endeavor, it would be. Well, yes, but there, I can guarantee Mithril, which is... A guarantee of Mithril is all well and good, but how many, peop how many people will get caught up in it? Hmm. It's unstable, your mind you're wanting to open, de-flood. All of this is dangerous activity. It is. But in these uncertain times, there is now a higher demand for Mithril, as is my understanding. If you do not wish to capitalize on this, that is your business, but I felt it pertinent to bring it to your attention. Well, I attempted to plug this check. Cool, I'm going to use my once today roll twice and take the better if you don't mind, because I have a minus one. That's <laughs> well, well you that, that's a thing. <laughs> what roll are we going for? Against my better judgment, I'm going to take the ten. Should have given you the diadem. So it could have been an eleven. I mean, it's better than 10. This is statistically accurate. <laughs> she ponders for a moment, looking over at Boris. I have to give it some thought. We also need to think about our people in a time like this as well. That you do. Speaking of, how is your brother? Sora is doing quite well. He's somewhat excited at the moment. Hmm? What for? Because he knows I'm planning some for, something for his name's day. Oh, when is it? Two weeks from now. I will see about possibly getting my group together to come join the festivities before we leave on our next um, adventure. Hopefully Reese will have recovered by then. He's unfortunately recovering from broken ribs. Now, hopefully he'll be okay in a couple of weeks, at least. Mm-hmm. Um, do send someone with any information we need to know. I will. I need to finish the details myself right now. Well, if there's anything we can do to help, also let us know. Thank you. But She, sm she smiles a bit. <sighs> How are it's good you? To see you all doing well. Yes. Well, my kind of gestures to her face. It adds character, doesn't it? Oh, that's what Theona says. <laughs> she winks a bit. But how are you doing? Not too bad, honestly. <sighs> Had too many suitors again. Hmm. She goes over and opens up a drawer, and it's just it's just a pile of letters that are inside. Any of them actually worth considering? One, maybe. Hmm. To be honest, most most of these are from people that the 
the faux pas if I'd even tried would be <laughs> I'd be the laughing stock of the noble community from trying. It is an unfortunate burden, isn't it? You you have it easier. The North doesn't care as care quite as strongly about the ties. Now you say that, but my family isn't very highly regarded to begin with. Meanwhile, I have reputations and alliances and honours, and I'm expected to bear an heir. Uh. Else, hand the title over to my brother for him to produce an heir. Well, if you decide you do not want a man, well, hopefully he decides he wants a woman. If not, oh well. And this is how we get civil wars all over again. Hmm. I've, I've never really had much of a head for these kinds of politics. I'm pretty sure that, that, that not to be offensive, but from what I understand, when you have a, when you have a power dispute like that, usually a duel will solve most of it. It is one of a few ways we tend to settle things. Yes, down here it tends to be much longer with words. And then we're sending other people to fight for you. How dishonorable. Well, if anyone ever dared to challenge you, I wouldn't mind championing. Well, I'll keep that in mind. I cannot guarantee the life or safety of whoever my opponent is, mind you. And so be it for them challenging you. <laughs> but yes, I suppose things are simpler in my homeland than yours. Politically, at least. Survival-wise, not so much. No. Politics in my country are often disputes of territory settled with either trade, blood, or sometimes both. Here it ends up being words and knives and whatever other things people can find. Hmm. On, on the bright side of myself, at least, is words are something I can deliver. Hey, that it is. I mean, you can tell that much, I suppose, just from she points to the massive drawer of a letter. If you did not hold so many duties, I would say just pick whichever one you were interested in. Theona has been good to me despite her lack of, well, anything of high note. Regarding family, well... Although she did surprise me with developing magical power. That was, that interesting. was interesting. Oh, did she now? Hi. Well, that's quite impressive. What's more impressive is... She had the gall to stand up to my family when her right to be at my home was challenged. It's a shame your change. people discount the lowborn so readily. They can be impressive. That I'm more than aware of. But, politically speaking, I'm required to have someone else sort of status. Hmm. Well, that is a... A marriageable life. Not, not necessarily a marriageable love. That is a terrible shame and burden, to be sure. I must wonder if it was better back in... Back in the days when the, when the Dragonites would just duel each other over land. <laughs> Barba barbaric, maybe, but not such responsibility. Aye, but might doesn't always make right. No, it doesn't. <sighs> She'll sit down and chat with you for a while, though. Both ladies of the court. Mm-hmm. They're very different ends of the court. Should at, least, should at least consider your Mithril offer. And when Amaya gets back, she will be telling everyone in the group about Sora's birthday coming up in two weeks. Put sand up. Why is it called the name D? Because that's officially the word which is used in, in a setting. Does Sora get a new name? No, that's literally just the name used. That's literally the word for it in the, in the setting itself. No, oh. I thought to give him a new name. There's yeah. no bean sprout. Pretty sure against nobles, that might be treason. Yeah. One day he shall grow up big and tall and be the beanpole.
So what you're saying is we have another noble dig thing to set up for. Yes, but this one with m much less politics, quite likely zero assassination attempts, bubble cake. and bubble. little to no intrigue. I don't believe a word also, of what you just said. Also, we won't have to be paying for it. Especially yeah, the whole zero that. assassination things. That's that's just not I, going to happen. I, I, I said possibly zero. I mean, the point is, the point is, instead, it might just be an eight-year-old's birthday party. So, well, I love an eight-year-old's birthday party. No, Isusa, what we need to do is we we all get one, and then we all put it in one big box. I wonder if you're going to do the box in a box in a box situation. That sounds like what Cadme's gift would be. Excitement and anticipation in the form of many boxes. Also, the boxes themselves are probably a gift. Me not, Adeline. Uh, you've got time to do stuff. Or, I suppose, just rest. I do. I want to do, though. Do you want to do stuff or do you want to do nothing? Uh, uh, I'll at the very least like scout out the the place we're going. So basically scheme through that. Okay. Scheme. Then, what, what else? Do you have someone you'd like to visit? It seems to be the theme for this downtime. Or do you have someone you'd want to train? Mm, no, not really. No, it has to be a visit. Then we've all visited someone. <laughs> I mean, she could visit a bar and look for trouble. <laughs> yeah, I could. Yeah, but that's just a Tuesday. I mean, yes, but... You were mentioning about training up there, uh, that someone could train up the archers before. Right, yeah. Hmm. If you yeah, want to yeah, start on that, true. feel free to throw some money towards you. Yeah, sure. I'll start up on that. We're going to train some snipers, now that we have a guard tower. Okay. Training up the same unit. Yes. yes. Okay. We don't have space for another unit. Watchtowers don't come with beds. It's true, you need a barracks. Okay, you begin your training on that. I'll mark that down. How is Adeline as a teacher? Uh, as an actual teacher, she's probably not the best, all things considered. But she gives great rewards for good job. Damn it. <laughs> Okay then. So All right. Have... Shoot, shooting competition. The reward for winning is me. Oh, no. I mean, the thing is, Noble Circle have done that for a long time. Like, person who wins this archery contest wins my hand in marriage. <laughs> True. Yes. Okay, so if hand in marriage, it would just be a one-night stand. But you know. I mean, can we return visit if they're particularly good for you? No. No, probably not. Work and pleasure should not mix that much. What about pleasure and pleasure. I mean, yes, but no, this is not it. Not the time for that. So yeah, she's just like casual teacher, just sort of working on getting their aim better. Okay. But with that, the group now needs to confirm what they're going to do. We have a birthday party coming up. Do we actually want to go to it? I do. I mean, that's two weeks' time. Yeah, that's and, and two weeks from the end of downtime. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, the... So I mean, we... Reese still hasn't recovered anyway. Yeah, but do we really want to just spend a month sitting around the base? Because the, the manor wasn't that far, was it? A couple of days, that's it. Yeah. It's just right out there. I'm still concerned about Reese's ribs. Well, uh, we can do a little yeah, something I mean... about that. Actually, wait, can we? Hold on. I got what a few feelings actually capable against. Uh, uh, it actually is pretty, it's pretty good against that sort of uh, thing. Cursed disease or poison. Unfortunately, I don't think broken ribs are a cursed disease or poison. Technically not, no. Yeah, it's an affliction, so. I mean, J Mac, you have healing. I do. Oh, I could actually do the plan that I was thinking. Wait, hold on. I'd look up if this spell works also. <laughs> I'm just saying, if nothing else, J Mac can party healer for once. <laughs> For once, you say. I mean, okay, I mean, no, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll say, when it comes to killing incorporeal things, you've got, you've got sideline. I mean, yeah. 
against incorporeals. Okay. I guess if we're thinking that it's ghosts, then there's probably not going to be corporeal undead here. Okay, except affliction does not work on broken bones. <laughs> so let's just give you broken bones. I mean, I can sort of live with that. What, have, what whenever you do a strenuous action, having to make, having to make a, uh, make a save. Yeah. Wait, what sort of save is it? Have a look. Because if it's fort, it's ironically way better for me. <laughs> yeah, I think it is the fort save. Oh yeah, that's great for me. I think every time you take a strenuous action, you must make a fort save or lose the action. That's ironically incredibly great for me. How is recognizing it... a broken rib? spells. Well, the point is, if, at least as if I have someone else within thirty feet of me, I can just pass it on to them. Well, pass what on to them? The broken it rib effect. Take, it's a fort take effect. the pain from me. Basically, I don't get rid of the effect, but I can, or I don't get rid of the broken ribs, but I pass on the pain, which does nothing mechanically. <laughs> Well, it stops me from being affected, doesn't it? Does it? Is the thing yeah. is, just you, the thing is, you don't you just lose your action. I don't know how it works. I don't have pass. I, hmm? I, I don't know how basically the spell fizzling would. <laughs> well, not the spell, my ability to pass on fort saves. I'm just saying it's a really odd thing, right? But... Technically, yeah. Even then, I have a good enough fort. I could probably survive it. I mean, you probably could. That's true. Well, kind of a non-issue since I can't actually steal it off Reese. I, mean, I guess we could take you one more hero week. points. You could hero point to try and steal I it off him. Ah, oh. oh, zero hero Yeah, points. I forgot you're always broke on hero points. It's because I use them to make sure I don't die or succeed at things. Uh, I guess take one more week, see how Reese does, and I will help him recover. And worst case for most people, people still haven't schemed. It's only Adeline and Kairos. Yes, Kellis. Who, if we're doing another another week, Kellis could possibly help Reese with his saves, seeing as she's actually there to apply medical juice now. Also true. I think that, mm. that, might, that might be best. Maybe. Well, if it's going off a heel skill, Kellis is better than I am. Actually, wait, it's just pain, right? I mean, roughly, yes. I could see about grabbing the delay pain spell. Well, I mean, it's also hard to breathe and your ribs are broken. Um, yeah, because the expanding and deflation of your diaphragm doesn't quite yeah. work. It is a bit of both. I have I have had problems with my ribs before. This is extremely painful, but it's also you can't actually expand your lungs. So yeah, I mean, yeah, if if it was that. just the pain as well, we could just go out and buy him a load of drugs. But it's not just a pain issue. Oh yeah, get the child addicted to play leaf. It's not the first time. What do you think I did with Leo? He came in with a broken <laughs> wrist. Yeah. Um, there's a few. There's a few different ways, of course, the group can go about this. I will say there is also quite. There's also quite a lot of potential puzzle stuff that will happen on the next mission. So Reese is not particularly going to be useful there because I won't take part in puzzles mm -hmm. as a GM because it doesn't make sense for me to take part in them. Cool. Yeah. So after all, it's your puzzle, not mine. Right. Um. So it's up to the group exactly how determined if they really want Reese to be along with this bit or not. I mean, I, I have an idea. Yeah, if I, I, I would like her here. I have an idea. We, mm -hmm. we do. We would really like him for that mission, where it's going to be likely undead and curses, right? Mm -hmm. Not like you're curses either. <laughs> Why don't we, while we wait for Reese to heal, go to the Nexus? Because that's going to be more. The, that's going to be more time. Yeah, that's on the like, ground. Don't know where that is. Right, but it still gives him a more time to heal. But the, the thing is, we wanted to be back within two weeks for the birthday party. Is the next is going to be more than two weeks? Well, you don't even know where it is yet. So right. likely, yes. Yeah, that's that's very much a we need to research this and then go there. Mm, all right. If they're even in session, like they might close it every now and then. Yeah, maybe it's still season. Still. If, if, if we were going to do like a secondary thing, then, then there's the Dwarven Dungeon. And that still kind of comes across the main issue of, oh, we lost our healer. Yeah, which is... Well, well the, the reason I was saying the Nexus is because, you know, that has a non-combat-based thing. Yeah. It's just we don't know where it is. And to try to find out where it is will probably take longer than 
Well, well, well then, I guess, I guess in the meantime, then, we could do something that isn't an actual mission, and we could go to that big castle that was by the troll that was full of constructs. And we could investigate, at least. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you, also got shot, you also got shot at by a construct that really, really hurt last time. Yeah, yeah. but alternatively, like, what, five? Level five? Got one moment. Just, just, uh, oh, that's gonna suck. Okay. Hmm? As it stands, at the rate that Reese is going, we're failing all of these checks so far, given he's he succeeded of one of three thus far. Um, it's probably going to be easier to pay for someone to regenerate. How much would uh, that cost? Money. How much is it? Which Reese will pay out of his budget here. But it's, though, if you're wondering, it's just shy of a thousand gold. That's not as much as I thought. Yeah, you, yeah, it's minimum level, basically. You don't really need a high level regenerate perk to fix some problems. The problem is, you need to regenerate, which itself is a high level spell. Yes. I mean, because I'll chuck money towards Reese for There's no reason he should just have to pay for it. Cause it I mean, I mean, his, to rush him. I mean, it's his broken ribs. Yeah, that, that was kind I mean, of my yes, opinion. It's, it's his ribs, he can fix it. <laughs> yes, but he's our friend. Yeah. Yes, but, he, but he's doing a shit job of fixing it normally. Wow. Look, <laughs> if I had the money to chip in, I would. I would. I, I would like to. Propo- I would like to propose we start. We coup de gras Kelris with the axe so it breaks her knees. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. Good luck getting it off me, suckers. Yeah, I'll run. Also, everything I said is not what Kelris is saying, as usual. No, she wouldn't say something like that, especially about That's Reese. funnier if it is. Yeah, but she actually likes Reese. Why isn't Slander? I mean, if it was a Mai with broken ribs, then she might say something like that, but she likes Reese. But it's been purchased out of Reese's 5,000 gold pile. Never mind, you have a fuck ton of gold. Yeah, you spend that. Reese has been saving up! <laughs> Reese has been saving up for ages. Right, well, next time I need money, I know who I'm coming to. I mean, I believe Reese isn't the only person. Shiva has had a lot of money because she's been saving up for um, ST armor. Yeah, but she actually had a thing to save up for. I don't know know if Reese does, or if he's magic just armor. saving. Well, Reese already has magical armor, more magical armor. Yeah. So Reese fixed himself. Yes, mostly. Good boy. Pat so Pat. what we're learning is next time someone else take the broken ribs from Reese. <laughs> Okay. We'll just like we'll crowd around to race like what was ants do? I'm not okay with the ant ball strategy. Yeah, let's not. <clears throat> yeah, knowing our luck that would just mean all of us get broken ribs. Yeah. But it's a different rib on each person. <laughs> Equal opportunity rib breaking. Yeah. There we go. Updated everything. Okay then. Does the group want to depart? Onward to the to the manor. Coast, probably. Yeah, let's go on a haunted house mission. Hooray! I mean, that could totally be part of the birthday celebration. We just brought a haunted house with us. Yes, we brought the haunted house with us to the party. But I mean, technically, if we just bring the ghost to the party, we're sort of bringing the haunted house with us because then the new house is haunted. I can do that. Please don't. I will bring also, by the way, I will bring Aspen and ha- Hazel. Are you... S- mm, I guess they're also Gathlin's fine. Yeah, and Hazel is... Like, she's kind of really good against undead. Mm-hmm. Also secondary healer. Mm-hmm. I mean, that could also be me if I'm not taking the Vortex. Oh, hey, this I prefer cool. to take the Vortex. Ooh, spoopy. There's it's people there right already! Too. Kind of reminds me of the asylum that um found old um or we gathered old yeah no <laughs> see yeah no that's not his name oh um this is a very nice place several days later after after following the old roads alongside the carriages as two for summons from the blackness you arrive at the old wayward estate. A dilapidated building that looks out of time in many regards. There are parts of the building that, when examined, appear damaged, decrepit, with walls caving in, 
and other parts that look immaculate, like the day they were built, moss growing up some walls, and others clean and tidy. It's an odd sense. The front gate has been broken open, the metallic bars torn, and another section collapsed to the ground. It looks like countless adventurers have broken in here time and again. The old building stands scenic, though, over the area. An old lake bed below, completely dry of water, where the lake once was long ago. Ch a cold, ch fell wind blows over. Spring, not yet warm this time of year. But, as it stands, the group sees only a few ways they can go. The, fr the front doors into the foyer appear broken open, if that's the route you wish to go. Alternatively, an upper floor window, or perhaps a basement hatch to the cellar might be your preferred route. How would you want to proceed? First well, off. Um, we were here, uh, we came, and it's uh, very nice. It's a nice place. I think it's time for us to go home. I'm not sure what oh. we can do here. Cadney, oh, Cadney, how does it feel? Like, it what, is what, what very, does... very... I know it's spooky. Icky. I know it's spooky, I know it's icky, but you're the one that can feel the spirits here. Yep, and this is what I'm saying. So you're saying there's spirits here that, you know, need help, need to be helped to be moved on? No, 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 they're doing quite well. Lots of power, very, very, very active, yes. But ones that shouldn't be here. I, that is a matter of opinion. I mean, I'm not the judge. Maybe they like living like this. Oh, I really should go in the manor. Come on, I'll look after you. <sighs> All right. Yeah, we'll be fine. I'll even not put on the Ikiyama that you hate so much. That would be fantastic, thank you. Let's go in. And that'll no doubt help me so much if I do swear. Me. But never mind. Well, sacrifices are made. I don't know, I'm kind of a of just going in the front door. Yeah, I think that's a plan. Uh, the basement's where all the spooky stuff will happen. We can just I, skip we, past everything. We, we could save that for later. Can you feel if there's any concentration of spirits in any particular part of the manor? I, um, uh, I'm kind of a bit stunned right now. I need a bit of time to sort of get the vibe of this. Okay, fair enough. Should we just pick Cadme up and use her as a dowsing rod? Yes. I pick Cadme up and start I waving mean, her around. I mean, you, if you're trying to use me as a dowsing rod, that does work, but I'm not sure what results you're going to get, because there's a lot of death. Everywhere. A lot of dead. I mean, yeah. That's why we're here. But, yes, the, but the dowsing rod technique will only lead you to the nearest, so... Weirdly, Cadby's pointing straight down. Yeah, ah, that's... Told you. Uh... <laughs> yes, I'm also master of the vibes. Cadby's wings are just pointed straight down. <laughs> I was imagining her antlers were moving around. Also, a quick question, um... just seen as Isthusa mentioned it earlier. Um... It, did Nier come with us? You never know. <laughs> right, he, he's not made it's himself not obvious, come. right. Okay, um, yeah, I'm gonna go into the front door. That's great. If you want to lift up that brick, you can find yourself a corpse. Okay. Oh, I'm still, still old... carrying Cadme, I head towards the door. <laughs> <laughs> Heading up the old, decrepit steps, each one warped and warped and groans. And stepping inside into the foyer, an area of dust and decay, old busts of the previous owners stand decorating in the hall, and an old painting stands before you, its face torn in half, as if claws had cut through it. Yet, as you stare at it, something seems odd. Very, very odd. And suddenly, slam! The doors behind the group seem to close quickly. Were the doors even on their hinges? You don't remember, but the doors are closed. And yet then, you see a flicker, a light. And before you really know what's happened, you realise this foyer isn't the dark and decrepit place you once knew. Brightly lit by candles, with a fine, rosy rug on the ground. You all stand in this beautiful, this beautifully decorated household. A place, well, 
befitting any of those of, of high and noble birth. Amaya finds herself in a beautiful a sapphire dress, bejeweled. Adeline finding herself in a beautiful ro rose-coloured dress as well. Her hair is up and fine, in a very old style. Adeline finds herself dressed like that of the, of the, of the gardener of the local estate. Fine work clothes and old boots that somehow manage to work their way round her wings. Estufa finds herself dressed in the, that attire that you'd expect of any any hired mage of an estate. The court magicians, as it were. She even has a license pin attached to her side. Reese is dressed in very much the garb you'd expect of a young man, of a young lord, of a young nobleman. Fine yet still allowing them the chance to rough around as with their sword fighting and such. Your gear's all disappeared as far as you can see, though. You don't see a thing. Glad I prepared for sword Chorus, most lastly, though, finds herself in the appearance that of the maid of the household. Dressed as you'd expect in all regards, from the fine white outfit to the headgear above. 